I need to practice decision making for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. One of the ways I can do this is to play solitaire. I play four hands at one time, and it's really helped my confidence. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out there to the left of these risers. I'm going to deal the tiles 14 to east, 13 to southwest and north. We're going to say that it is the east round. That's important because it can affect decision making. You can get score if you get a pawn of east winds. Let's see what we can do for the player here, which is east. They have a pair of white dragons. A dragon pawn all by itself would be one Han and a Yaku. That would qualify them to win if we can get three of a kind. I want to count too how many terminals we have here. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe we could play Chanta. Chanta is where you have ones and nines or honors, which are wins and dragons, in every component of the hand. You need four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. So for example, this has a terminal in it, a nine, so that would be valid. This, if we could get a three dot, would also be valid because it has a one in it. We could maybe pair the nine dot. Either way, or however you slice it, you just have to have a one or a nine, or a wind or a dragon in every component. So this would have to be discarded. Let's discard that and see if we can make Chanta work. Chanta is a one Han hand if, if we claim a discard to complete one of the blocks. If we do it concealed, we can add a Han to the value, the total value of the hand. So we, let's try to do Chanta concealed with a dragon pwn. That would be three Han. Let's, you know what? Something very important is missing here. The con wall. Got to have a con wall. Seven tiles wide, too high. We need Dora. There's the con wall. Let's see what Dora is. Right there. Eight dot is the indicator, so nine dot is Dora. That was fortuitous. Let's see what we can do for south. So they have three honors, all singles. Those are not going to help them. They do have their own right here. If you get a three of a kind or pwn of your seat wind, that's a yaku and a han. These are isolated, isolated. There are two potential cheese here and here. I think probably what I would do here is hold all the cracks for sure. If we paired up these honors, we could play Honitsu or Half Flesh, where you play one suit with Winds and Dragons, but I would hold these or any other potential cheese that develop because we could play Pinfu, which is all cheese. So this is kind of a wait and see. But there's a significant number of cracks there. Although this is isolated, that's a weakness there. And there's five discards. Either way, we have discards and isolated tiles. So we'll see. 
Let's see what we can do for west. West has Dora. They also have their seat wind, a single. That's not going to be helpful right now. If they pair up, they could potentially pwn it. That would be a Yaku. They do have a lot of dots, but they also have a pair of three bams and a potential chi. These are isolated. We'll have to see what they draw and decide then. There's no real clear definition except use Dora if possible, because that's a Han. All right, let's see what we can do for North. Okay, for North, they have a lot of single honors. Look at that. They have two pair in BAMs. There's a pair here in dots. We could potentially play all three of a kind. Three of a kinds are called pones. All pone is also called toy toy. That would be the Japanese term for all pone. Toy toy. T O I T O I. And that is a two han hand, I believe. Two han yaku. Toy toy. Let me look. Toy toy is, where is it? All pone. Toy toy. Four pones or cons. Two han. And you can call for discards. Three, two, one. Toy Toy, which is all three of a kind, is two Han. So we could claim discards to complete these pairs and, and turn them into pones. Maybe. Because we could also sacrifice the twos and play half flesh. We would need to pair these up though. Single honors with numbered tiles, two through eight, simples. You can't do anything with those. All right, we're going to get started. <clears throat> I think here we're going to do, we want to use Dora. I think Chanta is what we were going to do here. Let's discard the six crack. That's too far away from a terminal. So we won't be able to use that. Let's now uh, look here at South. I think here we were going to try for either a half flush with cracks or Pinfu. I think that if we were to Chi that right off the bat, I think that's going to paint them into a corner. I would not do that. I would draw and wait and see. So there's a six bam. That's, these are all isolated. That's not good. Let's see here. Let's discard the one dot and draw for west. Three crack. If we're gonna play pin foo, which is all cheese, this was a good pick, because we can do a one, two, three, or a three, four, five. It is a weak arrangement there because we're waiting for the tile in the middle, but it's better than having isolated tiles. Let's go ahead and discard the east and we can draw for north. Six dot. Okay, same thing there. We have a pair, potential chi. These could actually be separated into two potential chi's. Five, six, five, six, five, six. As a matter of fact, maybe we can keep that seven. If we get a five, crack or a six crack, we could play something called mixed triple chi, the same chi or three in a sequence in each suit. We have dots, bams, cracks. Let's go ahead and discard the west. Let's see if we can draw that in. Maybe play pin foo and get rid of these honors here. There are a lot of them though. Let's see what we can do now for east. Nine crack, there's a pair. Gotta have a pair. Okay, now let's see here. Chanta is what we're thinking. Dragon Pwn. This is a potential chi. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Maybe we could get rid of this eight. There's a chi right there, eight. Or we could keep it 
and get rid of the one. I was kind of thinking it'd be nice to maybe even play all terminals and honors. That's called honor row two. Honor row two. I don't know if you're, I pronounced that right. It's all terminals and honors. That's a two Han exposable Yaku. We only have one pair though. That's a long shot. Let's get rid of the one crack. Let's draw now for south. One crack. Okay, there's a pair in there. Got to have a pair. So I think we were thinking about pin foo potentially or half flush. Let's just break this out and see what the blocks look like. Seven, eight, potential chi. Five, six, potential chi. Pair, potential pone half flush, five discards. These are all isolated. Let's get rid of this nine bam. We're not gonna be, be able to use all of those. Okay, nine bam was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're gonna draw four west. Four dot. Oh, there's a pair. I'm thinking maybe toy toy. If we get another pair, we could play toy toy. Again, that's all pwn, all three of a kind. One, two, three pair. Those are all potential pones. A one crack was discarded. Let's go ahead and throw that. And now we can draw for north. Three dot. Okay. So for north, I think we were considering getting rid of all the honors and playing pinfu, which is all cheese. Put these in order here. Or the uh, mixed triple chi five six seven using that of course it's isolated right now let's go ahead and discard the south all these can bring value if we can pair them up and then pwn that's their seat wind and any pwn of dragons is a han and a yaku for that matter all right let's draw now for east Two crack. Okay, if we're playing Chanta, I should have kept that one. But uh, it's too late now. Let's let's just keep it moving. Two crack. Nobody can take it. We're gonna draw four south. Three crack. I think this half flush Honitsu is coming in. Let's get rid of the three bam. And then we can draw here or pwn. Let's pwn. This is gonna be a little risky because they have only two other pair to convert to pones. So they're gonna to need to pair up. Let's draw now for this player here. Oh, did I discard? Three, four, four, four. We need to discard. Let's discard the three crack. Let's try to do all pwn here. Let's draw. One bam. Okay, that's not necessarily helpful. But if we draw two, that can help get us to pin foo. Let's discard the north. And draw for east. Three crack. Oh, three crack. They could have had a chi with a one, two, three. Let's draw. Seven dot, there's pair, but we want cracks. Let's get rid of this six bam and draw for west. Now this player up here can pwn that. They have one, two, three pair. Three pair, they're kind of in a similar place here where they only had three pair. I probably should not have taken that three bam. I probably should have stayed concealed Let's wait and draw for west. Two dot. Yeah, now look at all these dots in here. All right, let's get rid of the two bam. That's not helpful at all. Let's now draw for north. Five bam. There's a pwn. Pwn. Pair. Side weight. Isolated, 
cone, pear, seven. Let's get rid of the red dragon. These single honors are not helping them at all. At least there's some flexibility with the numbered tiles because you can pair up and pwn or you can use them as cheese. All right, we're going to draw now for east. Eight dot. Okay, there's a potential chi. So there's a potential pwn, potential chi, potential, potential, potential. Here's a pair. Got to have a pair. Let's discard this eight crack. Although we have a potential mixed triple chi here, 789, 789, 789. Let's get rid of the second eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's get rid of the eight because we need to come up with a pair in here somewhere. All right, now we're going to draw here. Nobody can take that eight, so let's just keep going. Although we just went through the second wall, we're now into the third wall. We're going to draw for south. Two bam. Drawing for west. 8 BAM, that's been discarded. Drawing 4 NORTH. 9 BAM. Let's get rid of that green dragon. Now they have all numbered tiles. We got a lot of work to do in there. I'd like to draw either a 4 BAM or a 7 BAM because then we could maybe do a pure double chi. Break all these pairs up into two different chis. The same chi in one suit. That's called a pure double chi, also called sanshoku. Is it sanshoku? Sanshoku, I believe, is how you pronounce that. So we're going to draw for east because nobody can take a green dragon. Seven bam. Oh, I threw away that eight bam. Let's stick with it. Seven bam. So I have six discards six discards and they did not make it to a ready hand that's called ten pie it's a really good goal to be ready in six discards didn't happen for east let's draw four south four bam that is not a keeper for them let's discard they didn't make it either Let's draw four west. Two bam, discard. They did not make it either. We're gonna draw four north. One bam. Oh, they got a pair. They have no nothing out yet. They have one, two, three, four pair. Maybe we should switch them to toy toy or seven pair. If we can get another pair, we could do seven pair. Seven pair is a four Han Yaku and that would be called Chitoitsu. Let's discard the three dot. They did not make it to ten pi either. We're going to draw now for east. Now they could chi that. If we chied, we would have a one hanyaku because we would have an exposure. If we do it concealed, it'd be two Han. But we have a, pwn, a potential pwn of a white dragon, which is another Han, and we have Dora, which is another Han. Let's go ahead and chi. So that's what it would look like. And we'll discard this red dragon. There's already one out. We're going to draw for south. They got a south. That's their seat. We could pwn that maybe. Let's get rid of the five dot and draw up here. Now up here, we're looking for pwns. They've already got a pwn of three bams. We don't want to chi. We could technically chi, but that would they would have no yaku at that point because we, we committed to toy toy, all pwn too early.
because they only have two they can act on. We need to pair up. North, not helpful. That's already out. Let's draw four north. Eight dot. We need to, we want to pair up here. That's, that wasn't helpful at all. Let's discard. Eight dot. Nobody can take it. You cannot chi from the player on your right. You can only chi from the player on your left. Nobody can take that eight dot. We're going to draw for east. Eight crack. If we're playing Chanta, we can't use this additional eight. It needs to connect with a terminal. So we need to discard that. We need to pwn the white. We need a seven dot there. So we have a one, two, three. That's one, two, three, four, and a pair. So we need either a white dragon or a seven dot, and we will be ready to win. 10 pi. We're one away from 10 pi there. So we threw an eight crack. We're going to draw here. Or we could potentially chi. Because here we have a six, eight. That would leave a five, six, a pair, potential chi. There's a chi already, six, seven, eight. I think we should stay put and draw. Because we already have a chi, five, six, seven. Or I mean six, seven, eight. Plus, they have no exposures. They can still potentially reach. Let's draw. You, you can only reach if you're concealed. And that's an additional Yaku, and Han. Oh, that was a good choice. We got a crack. And we can discard and sacrifice the offsuit pair. If that makes you cringe, if you already know how to play this game, write pound cringe in the comment section below. This is something that I'm trying to learn. When to sacrifice an offsuit pair or set of tiles, if you have even more than that. Like up here, there's four. All right, let's keep going. So seven dot was discarded. We're looking for pones. Here we have a pair, let's pwn. So we're gonna pwn from south. And we need to pair up badly. I'm gonna keep that west. There's one out. We could still pwn that if we pair up. It's gonna be tight though. Let's discard this five crack. We definitely jumped the gun. We committed too early with those bams. If we had waited, we could play, have played Honitsu. Look at all these potential cheese here. All right, let's, let's draw five crack. N nobody can take it. We're gonna draw then for north. Oh, green dragon. That's already in their discard pile. I think that's called a Kawa, K-A-W-A, or river. That's what the discard pile is called, I believe. And I, I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, we're gonna draw now for east. Three bam, that's in a pone already. That's a good safe tile. I mean, somebody, this player could chi that potentially, but if three are out, it's a pretty safe tile. Let's draw four south. Oh, Akadora. Wow, look at that. Pretty, pretty hand. Let's discard that seven dot. They are not ready by any means, but they have a pair, potential chi. Here's a potential chi. There's a chi and a pair. One, two, three, four, five. They just need to pwn or fill in a chi, discard these. They're getting closer. Let's see, four, four, four. Yep, they have enough tiles. I was afraid they had too many tiles there for a minute. Okay, so I discarded a seven dot. They're cleared to Honitsu, half flesh. We're gonna draw four west. They got an east, that's already been thrown. Let's draw for north, four crack. That's not their suit at all, four crack. They have no tiles except for the seven. We were hopefully going to try to do a um, five, six, seven in three suits, but we have no seven bam, no five crack, no six crack, no seven dot. I mean, we'll see. That's probably going to have to go away. So four crack, nobody can take it. This player cannot chi from a player across from them. They could chi only from this player, the player on their left. So we're going to draw for east, two bam. 
Two bam, that's a discard. We're gonna draw four south. Three dot, we don't need that. Three dot, this player's looking for pwn. We, we don't wanna take that. If we cheat that, they would have no yaku and you cannot win unless you have a yaku. Their yaku that they picked is all pwn. We gotta draw and hopefully pair up. East and they already discarded that twice. That's too bad. Let's draw four north. Nine dot, that's Dora. Let's keep it. And we have a, that's isolated though. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four. That's actually a pwn right there. Let's see here. We could just reach alone if we can get there fast enough. Let's discard the nine bam. That's isolated too, but this is Dora. If we could pair that up, maybe that would be nice. So nine bam was discarded. We already have a seven, eight, nine here. Let's draw. Oh, seven. Oh, shoot. We could have had a pure double chi, I think, or been ready for it with a seven, eight, nine in bams. All right, let's draw one bam. They need cracks. Drawing four west, green dragon, that's been thrown. Drawing four north, red dragon, that's also been thrown. Drawing four east, five dot, that is not near a chanta tile. We're gonna draw four south, eight bam, that's not a keeper for them. We're gonna draw for west, white dragon, Oh, that's risky. We're going to get rid of it now. We're nearing the end of the third wall. You want to get rid of risky tiles like that. I'm going to pwn it for east. So this would be indicated thusly. <gasps> Butterfingers. Okay, now we're going to discard. Seven, eight, nine potential chi pair we need a seven dot to win let's discard the eight crack since they have exposures they will not be able to reach but they are ready that's called ten pi they're ten pi we're ready to draw for this pretty hand we need cracks Oh, a west will do. There's a pair in there now. Let's just see. Pair, potential chi, potential chi, six, seven, eight, and two pair. Yeah, they're not ready to win. They, they need to pwn something or chi something. So there's a discard there. North, nobody can take it. So we're gonna draw four west. Two crack, two crack. This player can't take it. Nobody else can either. We're gonna draw four north, east, discard. Drawing four east, red dragon, that's a discard. We're gonna draw four south, four crack. That's what they needed right there. Pair, three, four, five, Let's see here, they have too, too many pairs in here. This is their seat. Here's a five, six, seven. Either way they need a seven crack in here or maybe pwn. Well, I'm kind of thinking, let's get rid of the west. They need to pwn either the south or the one to be ready to win on this side weight chi right there potential chi so they're not quite there yet they're one away let's draw for west white dragon that's been dis uh, exposed in a pwn so that was a good discard let's draw for north we are now going into the fourth wall so this is the end game
we're going to draw four north. Four dot. They just got a chi. Uh oh. Let's discard the seven crack. They have pear, pone, pear, dora, chi. They're probably going to just need to reach alone if they can get ready. They need to draw into a pone here to reach, and they would have to discard this very risky Dora tile right now. Maybe they should even switch to defense at this point. Let's draw for east. We need a seven dot to crack. Okay, here. They're still concealed, but if we chi that right here, three, four, two, three, four, we would have, we could throw that pair, pair here. That would be a double weight. Let's just see if we have any cheese. Chi, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, west, pair, chi, potential chi, chi. Okay, I don't think that two crack is going to help them. I think we should draw six dot. That was very disappointing. Six dot. We need to draw three dot. Okay, they probably should just switch to defense. West, I think, was a good discard all around. And we're going to draw up here. South, that's been discarded also. Drawing for east. Three dot, that's a discard. Drawing four south. Two crack. Okay, they got it anyway. Okay, so there's a pair. Two, three, four. Pair, pair, or chi there. Let's discard the west. That should be a good safe tile. So there's still one away. Pair, chi, pair, chi, pair. Yeah, they need to pwn something or fill in, get another four crack maybe. Okay, let's draw north. Let's draw for north. Five dot. Oh my goodness. Okay. One, two, three, four, five pair. I don't think any of that's going to help them at this stage, though. There's only three three more picks. They only have two more picks. They should switch to defense. So let's see. Six dot was recently discarded. Let's throw that. And now we can draw four east. Looking for a seven dot. We got a nine crack. We're still looking for a nine... Uh, yeah, that, that's not going to be helpful. A seven dot, which none are... Oh, there's a pone out. There are no nine dots out. The thing about that is, though, that nobody at this stage in the game is going to throw Dora. I think I would stay put. Let's discard the nine crack. I think they're the only ready player right now. Let's draw four south. Nine dot. Nine dot. They have two more picks. They're one away. I'm going to throw it. Nine dot. Nobody's ready. That would have made them win if we had switched. You never know. Let's draw. Okay, nine dot was discarded. So this now is a safe tile at the moment. The last discard for that go round, any, if, if nobody takes it, that particular tile is called Furyton temporary Furyton and nobody can win on it if they, let's say, change their mind. So let's draw for north. As a matter of fact, let's discard it again. And let's draw for east. Seven dot. Oh, too bad. Six bam. I'm not going to take it up here. They only have one more pick. There's no way for them to win, so why expose? Let's draw four south. Nine crack. 
kind of late in the game. Let's see if we can get them to 10 pi though. If you can get to a ready state, you can get paid. Okay, it just seems like they have, they're not, let's see, they have too many things going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. They have an additional pair they don't need really. Let's see here. Six, seven, eight, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we discard this, we're ready on a seven crack. Let's make them 10 pi. It, whenever you have numbered tiles in one suit, rearrange from right to left, then left to right, because you may be able to make it work just like we did here. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ready on a seven pair. Of south so let's just at this point a seven crack we have one here there's one out one out one there we can reach do you reach at this late stage let's do it reach you can reach four tiles back that's the limit everybody has one more pick after this let's draw four south four dot they got a pwn okay we need to discard a safe tile let's see here the three dot is a safe tile and we can draw four north now everybody has one more pick nine bam we need to pick a good safe tile here. Okay, so we need to look at what is out. One BAM, a six BAM was thrown a while ago. Nobody took it. Let's throw it. And we can draw four east. Three crack, three crack. Yep, that's been discarded. We can draw four south, one BAM. They have to discard. Once you reach, you're locked in. Can't change your hand. Let's draw for west. Last tile. Eight crack. We need a good safe tile. Six dot. That was thrown already. Okay, we have two ready players. These are called ten pi players. Players who are not ready are called no ten. The no ten players play the ten pi players. 1,000 each. So they'll each pay 1,000 to the ready players. This player's ready on a seven dot, but there's already a pwn out. So they, there, there's one seven dot. Oh, really, their, their hand was, was dead. I didn't really notice that in that discard pile, but still they're, they're 10 pi. So even if they didn't win, they're ready. So they got some kind of benefit out of it. And then this player was ready on a seven crack. This player couldn't pair up. This player had, was one away really. They just needed, well, no, they weren't. They had a way to go. They had a lot of pairs, but nothing really came in good for them. They could have maybe played seven pair. Four, four, yeah. That's unfortunate, especially with Akadora in there. I really enjoy playing solitaire. It gets my mind thinking and it really gives me a good opportunity to make decisions with picking and discarding one hand at a time and looking at the discard piles and the exposures. And as you can see, I need to practice because I missed that seven dot. This is exactly why I like to do this exercise. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and see if it helps your confidence. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos 
and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.